This is Dabu 7. We have the Washington State Department of Natural Resources putting out some new simulation videos here on what's going to happen when this Cascadia unzips. And if you don't know, this thing is long overdue per what history has told us. This is a look here of that region that you can see lit up in red. And this would be the area that would take the brunt of this. Now, they have several different clips laid out, different videos. But we're looking here at Gray's Harbor. Arberdeen, this whole region. They put into motion this huge red wave, so to speak, the red area that comes in, makes it through here, and then inundates all of these regions. They go through many different cities. They also go through the islands up there, just north of Seattle, and you can see where the waves would also come down into that region. Now, an earthquake in the right spot could cause a lot of problems for Seattle. It could suffer what the experts say is liquefaction on large scale, where the city would begin to sink in different areas if the right earthquake hit in the right region because of how the city itself is built and what it's built on. So if that was to happen, and then large waves make their way through these corridors and then finally down to the city, well, if the city starts to sink first, as this all the rumbling is going on, it's going to take a little bit of time for all them waves to make their way down through the canals and get to the spot, as you can see when they put these things into motion. So it's something to think about if you're in this area. I would say that those that have lived up here for some time or all their life, they know these areas are overdue for a big one. But if you're new to these regions, you don't have an earthquake plan, tsunami plan, if you're on the coastline or near the water, it would be wise to think about one. But a lot of information here, I'm going to leave a link below. Make sure to check it out. Much love.